So, ladies and gentlemen, today we saw our first PlayStation State of Play, their so-called Nintendo Direct-esque thing that they're going to start doing instead of press conferences. And, wow, this is kind of a little bit to <laughs> digest, but not digest at the same time. I'm going to kind of record this kind of off the cuff, no script, just straight thoughts from my head, straight reaction, no editing, just so I can get my pure feelings and thoughts out of the way. Um, well, I took some notes as I was watching it. The actual state of play was 19 minutes and 50 seconds. Um, and they might as well call it the PlayStation VR state of play because they showed off a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ish. Uh, and all the VR and all the games they showed off, they showed off twelve VR games and four regular games, uh, one or two off maybe. And out of all these, the all the regular games only w I, I miscounted. Only one new regular game was shown. Uh, two new games. Oh, yeah. Out of the new games shown, there was four that were um that were brand new. Uh. What was it called? Uh, Ready Set Heroes, and uh, Ready Set Heroes, Con uh, Concrete Genie, and Observation. And out of all those, Ready Set Heroes looks really cute. It, <laughs> I do kind of like when you're looking at these little small kid-like anthropomorphic characters. They look like the kids from the Disney Robin Hood movie. Uh, they're kind of cute. They have these cute little kid-like wooden swords and stuff like that. And it looks like a neat little dungeon crawler. I give it that. Um, observation, I want to see more of this. This looks really interesting. It really does. Um, and the little kicker at the end was that you're not playing the character, you're playing the space station. So you're playing a Five Nights at Freddy's in space. And a nice segue into that, we got our first Five Nights games on console with Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Now... For me, as a growing Five Nights, a Five Nights at Freddy's fan, this is not what I really wanted to be the first thing I would want. This was not. This would not be the first thing I chose to be the first game on a console, on a home console. You can easily port over uh, Five Nights One or Two on any of the consoles, even the Switch, uh, which I'm not actually surprised if it's not on the Switch yet. Uh, and there's even like copycats on the uh, on the Switch and the Xbox already, but I don't know why Five Nights isn't. Uh, uh, and the thing is, what I'm looking at this overall, the state of play, the presentation was okay. I give it that. The overall presentation of, it was fine. Um, I did I did kind of like how they did. I I did kind of like how when it was starting up, it was like a PS4 kind of starting up. That was a cute little touch. Um, they kind of remixed all the PlayStation sounds from, like, the menu highlights, the PlayStation swooping and all that, into an actual, like, background song that you constantly heard in between segments of video games. That wasn't... Okay, that was pretty good, too. Nice little PlayStation-y feel. But I would like to see actual some kind of remix... Not remix, but actual original music. I don't want... Um... Remix of sounds that I'm constantly exposed to and just be like, hey, it's the same stuff, but like tweaked with a beat. And like, no, I don't want that. Uh, what else did I write down here? Um, oh, yeah, it started off with a... I have, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, the first thing they started off with, it looks like an Iron Man game. And like, yes, we just got the, we just got off the heels of Spider-Man. Um, starting off this brand new Marvel uh, video game uh, expanded universe would be Iron Man. Awesome, quit. Oh, it's a it's a VR game. Instantly disinterested, just instantly already. Um, I do not have a PlayStation VR at the, at the moment, and nor nor am I interested to buy one. Mostly because I don't have the room to play it. I really don't. Um, this was really a if you if you are a uh. If you are a fan of the PlayStation VR, this direct what uh, I'm gonna call it direct. If that's what it, that's what it was, and I'm fixing to touch up on that in a second. Um, uh, uh, in this in this direct state of play, oh God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on doing this, aren't I? 
in this state of play, if you're a VR fan, this was for you. I admit this. This was for you. It it didn't sell me on a VR, but if I did, I would be picking some of these games up. I will admit that. Um, what else I got here in my notes? Um, Falcon Age looks really cute. Uh, that was another one that... I mean, you fist bump a Falcon, and he does the exploding fingers from Big Hero 6, which I think Big Hero 6 started that, so... Thumbs up for that. That really got some bonus points. And he made it, and you made a little heart, and a little baby falcon popped in his head, and it's like, oh, that was adorable. Oh, there was, uh, that was adorable. That was cute. Uh, what else do I got? Uh, uh we're gonna con go back to Concrete Genie. This game looks gorgeous. I mean, um, I am definitely one. I will fight. I will fight tooth and nail. If you're get, uh, it doesn't matter how expensive the game is. You do not need a AAA game that looks ultra realistic. Looks like they're remapping Washington D.C. or Seattle or Boston or whatever. As long as the art style is unique enough, Concrete Genie, Legends of the Wind Waker. Uh, tr uh, I'm gonna just quote. Just gonna quote Transformers. Uh, Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Some of these actually have a un unique art style enough on their own to st not only stand out, but last a long time. You can pluck these things out of their time frame and possibly put them in a future generation, and they look even, and they look just as good. Concrete Genie, Wind Waker, Metroid Prime, all these are perfect examples of a an art style can take a game a long way. That's another reason why I'm a giant art nut. And this is definitely on my radar to get. And a one thing I am liking that a lot of these games they were pu they were pushing the state of play, even the brand new announced ones were that they're coming out this year. So, all right, cool. Uh, the downside is that we only saw uh, was it two, four, uh, four regular games shown off for the PlayStation, and the rest were just games we already knew. Okay, they they gave us a little bit new information on Days Gone, which comes out ne uh, in less than a month, actually. Uh, okay. I mean, it's nothing really new to make me buy it, to make me... Like, the game's already on my radar. I'm already wanting to pick it up. But at the exact same time, there's nothing new... There's no new information you can give me at this time that would persuade me otherwise, other than just give me a little bit... Uh, they gave us a little bit more story on it, and... Okay... Uh, the developers did say that the focus on this game was going to be on the actual humans and not the zombies. The zombies were going to be more of a background thing. And it looks it. And it looks nice uh, by doing so. Uh, let's see. Did I cover everything? Yeah, I covered everything. Like I said, this is only somewhat scripted. I only have my notes here. And But what's my overall thoughts of this? Well, overall, it was okay. Um, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. It was just fine. It was okay. Um, but go look at the dislikes and likes ratio of this. It, whew, at least as of the recording of this audio, let's see if I can get it back up. Hold on one second. I know, I know, flipping. I might edit this part out. <laughs> or maybe not, I might just throw this all in here. Because I just want to get this up really quickly. As of this recording, there is 20... Uh, there's not 20. They originally took the original video down, which was getting dislikes. By, like, every time you refreshed it, there was 100 new dislikes. Just bam, 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 bam. And when you know it, they took it down to re-upload it. And uh, as of right now, as of the recording of this audio, or as the editing of this video, it has 2.2 thousand likes and 6.5 thousand dislikes. Um, I think a lot of people were expecting it to be a lot more umpy, to give us a lot more, give us a lot more meat to chew on, rather than just be like, here's a reminder of what comes out, and a lot of VR games, and goodbye guys, and that's it? That's all you're going to give us? You're not going to blow our minds, or secretly reveal something that you're going to be revealing on, maybe a price drop on VR to help entice us on this? You know, dump all these games... That would have been perfect. Dump all these games on us, and then just to turn right back around and go, oh yeah, there's another $100 price point on the VR headset. Boom! Right there. You already got me interested, and it's in my price range. That would have been the... 
Mmm, that would have been a little nugget to make this into a good presentation. But, overall, we do have to address the elephant in the room. Where, even though Nintendo was the first one to do it, so they are going to be compared heavily to Nintendo, and Nintendo doing it for years. Even Nintendo's first Direct was okay. Um, but at the same time, it was okay bordering good. Uh, not great, just good. This one, on the other hand, we were comparing it to Nintendo. So we were expecting it to blow our minds, and we, w we were holding it in high expectations. Um, I, myself, was going into this with no expectations whatsoever. Um, m may I was expecting maybe something like, maybe a new game? And I got it, I got my new game, so I was satisfied in that, I was satisfied in that regard. But at the same time, was someone with no standards going into this, who's not a PlayStation fanboy at all, who's a passing, who's a passing PlayStation gamer at best, is looking at this and going, this is alright. This is a alright Nintendo Direct is fine thing. It didn't overstay its welcome, it was a decently it was decently paced. But at the same time, I reiterate, we're gonna be comparing this to Nintendo a lot. And I can't help but compare it to Nintendo, especially with Nintendo already this year popping out two great directs with the Nindies and the Direct from earlier just knocking it out of the park. With those in comparison, especially with those so fresh in our mind, of course this is going to look bad. I guess in a way you can call me a defender of this of the state of play. Um, I see some of the backlash, but at the same time, I haven't watched anybody else's. I'm just looking at the backlash of the dislike videos and some, like, these shocking thumbnails and all that, but I haven't watched any videos yet. This is pure my thoughts, off the cuff, no script, just straight from my head. Like I've mentioned previously. Overall, again, this was an okay PlayStation state of play. If, basically with these, it's practice makes perfect. The presentation of it was fine. I liked it, actually. I liked the little slider style, the little music in the background. I mean, give us eventually give us some like original music other than just remixing your sounds from the menu system. Okay, uh, do that. Other than that, overall, I have the same feelings for this like I do the PlayStation Classic. You gave us something solid, but it feels like it was thrown together at the last minute. A lot of these were thrown together trailers, trailers of stuff we already seen, a lot of VR stuff, which I'm guessing part of me is saying they're, they're getting this off their chest now rather than dumping a lot of VR stuff uh, on our chest in, uh, for when E3 season comes around. Strictly because the last time that happened, a lot of people were upset about that. But overall, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself at this point, but I'm just going gonna, gonna to wrap it up at this point. It was an okay direct. Wasn't bad, wasn't great, it was just okay. Presentation was fine, music could be better. Other than that, I want to see, I can see them getting better as a first. As a first of its kind of PlayStation State of Play, it did its job. It really did. I wasn't expecting to be wowed. I got pretty much exactly what I was expecting it to be. But I can see why the backlash is there. I can see the almost 7,000 dislikes at this point. And I can see people, and I'm and I'm thumbing through uh, Facebook right now, and I can see people blasting it left and right. But on the other hand, I want to see more. I want to see PlayStation improve on the state of plays. If we get to the second or third one, and it's still like this, then I'll start talking down to PlayStation. And, hey guys, we need to improve this. This is, you know, the second or third one. You should be... Getting better by now, you know. You guys, you guys are usually receptive, but I see you guys kind of slipping. Come on, but that's that might be in the future. It might not be. Well, guys, those are my thoughts on the current PlayStation State of Play. Uh, be sure to write. Be sure to write in the comments down below what you guys think. Did you guys like the State of Play, or did you guys absolutely hate it? Do you think they could have done more, or do they think they presented the right amount of stuff? Let you guys tell me you guys thoughts in the comments below. Like, share, and like, share, and subscribe, and be sure to say that, share this amongst your friends. Maybe I'm possibly defending it amongst some of the other people. I'm not sure. Tell, uh, tell me what you guys think. Until next time, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the next Junk Bin Challenge. And until then, I'm gone. I'm Ghost. I'm out of here, not past tense. I'll see you guys later.